Hello guys! Welcome back to another video. So, I hope you're all doing well. Now, the title of my video was probably a bit shocking for you guys. I do plan on explaining what I mean by that, how I let my husband control me. Just a bit of a, a little bit of an update with how I'm doing. For those of you who don't know, I suffer from binge eating disorder and food addiction, and I have been this way for as long as I can remember in my life. Even as a kid, I was always obsessed with food in a very unhealthy way. I would use food for comfort. That developed into using food for comfort. I just, food has just always been the main focus center of my life and I have a lot of food noise in my head it's just always food 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 what am I gonna eat next just always thinking about food obsessing about food so I have talked about this ad nauseum on my channel and I probably will continue to talk about some of my struggles and stuff like that but so far I'm on a winning streak just doing well I'm actually really happy with the little accomplishments I've been making so some of those accomplishments are just I haven't binged in a while now and well a while for me is like probably a few days like since Thailand anyways since being back home in Thailand I ordered a lot and I did have some there were some times where I would be alone and just watching a movie or whatever in the hotel and I would order out again on top of having had supper and then I would order snacks or go to the 7-eleven and have snacks and I realized left to my own devices being private in private I was able to just do whatever I wanted to and was also able to hide things from my husband who's concerned about my health and my eating disorder I will also say that this is new for him he's a, a person uh, who doesn't have issues with food at all they eat to live and they don't think about food after they've eaten they're good they don't think about their next meal after that i've been surrounded by normies my whole life so when it comes to food that's what i mean by normie and so this is like a whole new thing for him i did mention when we met because i feel it's important to be with transparent with somebody especially if you're planning on marrying them and spending your life with them as a life partner husband and wife that's your a unit you're a family unit you're a couple you go through life together the ups and downs and i felt it was important for him to really know what my downs were so I did talk a bit about how I have issues with food and I don't think at the time he really really understood the full extent of it until he lived with me and he would you know see little signs of when he would be sleeping and then the next day there would just be some evidence of binges happening we're going through it and he's actually really supportive in a lot of ways in every way he could be he's very encouraging you know just today throughout the day just saying you're doing such a good job because he's very intelligent and he learns fast so i already feel like he knows kind of what it would be like for me and how hard it must be for me so i'm glad that he can empathize with me and understand and be patient like i really emphasize to him you really need to be patient if this is going to work there's a lot of ups and downs and it's just it's a very arduous journey and it's not something that everybody wants to or can take on as a partner being a supportive partner i let him control certain things now in my life but there's a difference between like a more like a narcissistic control a control of asserting power over someone versus having your back and what i'm talking about when i mean control is i'm letting him control things that i have no control over so yes i let him control me with ordering out so i'm letting him help me with that and what i mean by that specifically is i've decided to show him everything i eat everything i put in my mouth like showing him what i eat uh, throughout the day anytime we eat out it'll be together usually anyways but there's no more of me just turning to him and saying hey i'm gonna order a 12 inch sub with some cookies and some chips or i'm gonna order burger king because i want a chicken royal meal there's no more of that and so far so good honestly i i'm not even craving junk food right now not fast food because i i got really bad food poisoning in thailand at least i think that's what it was after eating some pretty disgusting junk it was like really nasty i was eating like a whole bunch of cheese popcorn i was eating like this place called potato corner like fried chicken skins and just like really fat food that's not like food products i don't consider that like nutritious food so i was really sick after you know eating or overdoing it on junk food like that it was just really toxic to my body and it had a really negative effect on my health on my you know i became really ill and though i'm feeling a lot better now i still have that like when i think of certain foods this particularly fried fat non-nutritious food I feel ill I, i'm very thankful for that right now because i don't know if i had that feeling if i would be so strong if i would have that willpower the same willpower i don't know if that will ever come back i'm sure at some point i will get cravings for certain things there's still things that i think i would overindulge on if i had in the house we did a healthier grocery order this time and so i just basically when i mean like controlling i mean more like being really accountable to him yeah i'm basically just holding myself more accountable than before i had the mentality that i don't really need to be accountable to anyone but myself but i think i need to 
to surrender that idea for now that I can be, that I can control, uh, that I'm in control because I'm not. And I know that I do need to be, but I, I do need some help with that at first. And being as my husband is like, you know, he's my supporter. He protects me. He cares about me. He really cares about my health. And so being 40 and having diabetes, type 2 diabetes, you know, being with someone so unhealthy who can't do anything. And, and I don't want to be that way anymore either. I want to live life and I want to do a lot in life. So I've just been trying to keep very busy. I find that I, I've just been really trying to organize my home more, keep it very clean, which somebody who's very sedentary, rigorous housework is a lot of exercise for me. And I find it takes me a longer time than it would a, a fit person to complete their whole house of housework. So I kind of just like do it in parts <laughs> and it's exercise for me for sure. Like lugging things around, mopping, bending, cleaning the fridge and stuff like that. It's good exercise for now. I've just been trying to keep my mind busy with like thinking, planning for future things, hobbies I'd like to maybe take up. But I'm really just focused on um, trying to get healthy and just taking it day by day. And that's what I'm doing and with my husband's help as well. I mean, Salah is not an almond husband, which for those of you who don't know, an almond husband is basically a husband, a partner who is very conscious around food, like very health conscious around food and stuff like that. I think anyways, <laughs> I've heard that, I heard that term recently and I was like, yeah, he's not, but he prefers, like he does have a sweet tooth. So he will, he likes in, to eat sweets, but he doesn't overindulge. He'll have like a chocolate and then that'll be it. He won't have like three, four, five chocolate bars, two, three, four, five. He'll just have like one and he'll eat his meals and that'll be it. And sometimes he only eats like once a day. If I make him a really big healthy breakfast in the morning, that's all he'll really eat and then he'll have maybe a chocolate bar at night. He prefers like real home cooked food over ordering out any day and he prefers to eat healthy. That's good because if I was with a partner who was just like me, we would be, or somebody who encouraged me to eat unhealthy or somebody who was, I don't mind that you eat that. You're perfect the way you are, babe. I love you the way you are. That's not okay because that's very dangerous. And at that point, that's where enabler status comes in, but it's not his responsibility for me. I'm responsible for what I put in my mouth at the end of the day. So it's, but I will, give him the go ahead to hold me accountable basically so i give him that control and that way I go in the you know in the driver's seat in that sense so someone said something to me before that was just really like made me rethink everything about your partner accepting you for how you are and he said i'm your husband i'm your family now like, if i love you truly love you i'm worried about your health if i didn't love you i wouldn't care he does have that mentality that you're beautiful but i don't want you to die i want you to be here for a long time i want you to travel with me i want you to just do a lot of things with me do a lot of things together and not be unhealthy and have a better quality of life it hurts him to see me in pain and with the sciatica and everything else and then just also not being able to breathe from walking or just this and that so i'm gonna choose my heart and i'm really gonna try to keep it that focusing on this journey basically that's what i plan on doing staying on track hopefully it works out we'll see so yes he's a lot more inv involved than before you know before i didn't really want to hear it and i would actually be defensive with him about it and kind of just like anyone else like kind of like i got this i just want to handle it on my own i just want to i don't want you to criticize me for what i'm eating i don't want to hear it like i just want to eat in peace like just leave me alone just let me indulge on my burger king and don't have have any opinion on it but no i'm gonna totally let him criticize me for that i'm totally gonna let him criticize me and i'm totally gonna let him tell me no and i'm totally gonna let him control this part of my life i have no control over so i just wanted to explain a bit about that because a lot of people ask me and wonder like what's your husband's role in your eating disorder recovery and your food addiction recovery and your, your weight loss journey what is your husband's opinion on this so that's basically what it is he's never nasty he's just supportive and we joke together which is totally fine i'm not an uptight person about that like i'm just i have a sense of humor about my my life my situation a lot of the time so you guys know like i like to laugh at myself sometimes depends on my mood i guess yeah so that's that's about it that's all i wanted to say just so you guys know the dynamic we have when it comes to that this particular topic inshallah this will this will be the time that i can finally make these lifestyle changes and i feel different i feel different about food i just feel right now like i really just no longer want to harm my body but i just do need that support so bad from him and i feel lucky that he like understands he's like younger than me and he's not familiar with this kind of situation and he could have been like nope i'm out of here so I'm, I'm happy that he's like on board he's very 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 supportive of me and he's very very doting and involved in my health care so yes anyway other than that i'll have some health updates in the future some weigh-ins and stuff like that so yeah anyways Thank you for listening, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.